This is the third in a series of videos of how I show you how I disassemble a Jayco J Flight 6. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I've never shared with you the vision that I have for this Jayco. So I want to change this Jayco from this to this. The first step on this is to disassemble this whole Jayco down to the frame. And the first step of that is to take the top off. I had the vision of taking this off a piece at a time. This top is not going to have any part of that. So I wound up having to take it off of the trailer in one piece. Folded while it was up on the trailer and broke some boards and caused some more damage to the aluminum skin. Figured that the easiest way, the safest way of me getting it off was to slide it off and drop it on the ground. Looking back, I should have lowered the roof risers all the way down to the bottom. Unfortunately, once you remove weight from those risers, they won't lower anymore. And so I even attempted to put some weights on the risers to get them to lower, but they wouldn't lower all at the same time. And it was going to create a problem. I didn't know the system well and I wasn't going to cause any damage to the system. I had the riser sticking up about a foot, and I had to figure out how to slide this one-piece top off of this trailer over the, those two risers on the front of the trailer. I would definitely recommend this to be a two- or three-man job to take the roof off of this trailer. Just in case you want to see the whole series of videos of this Jayco rebuild, I'm going to post the link in the top right hand corner of this video now. For those that don't know it, I have successfully converted a cargo trailer over to a camper, and that series of videos has a lot of how-to in it also. And so I'm going to link to that series of videos in the top right hand corner of this video now. And it took a lot of wrestling, but I, I finally did slide this roof off the trailer onto the ground in one piece. Once the top was off, that allowed me to freely move around in the camper, and I was able to take careful measurements and do some drawings of where all the cabinets were and where all the power ports are and the hose routing and the wire routing and all of that. I took very careful notes because all of this was going to be disassembled. And then I began the process of disassembling this. Most of the interior of this is not going to be reused. Uh, wood is thin paneling. There's no backing to it. And it's got one by twos and two by twos for framing.
there are some screws that will hold things down on the flooring, but most of this is stapled together. And in my previous videos, I told you that the interior of this had seen its fair share of rodents. And there wasn't, while there wasn't any smell, uh, there was a lot of dust and debris and, and remains of the chewings from the rodents. So a dust mask and some leather gloves might be something you might want to use as well. Hinges and doors were also screwed together. Part of me wants to use the original hinges on it, but we'll see if it fits in with the whole design that I have in mind. You'll also need to use some side cutters to be able to cut the wires and get them out of the way as well. This Jayco sat very, very low to the ground. I do intend to raise it up. It had no tanks whatsoever. I'm considering putting in a 20 gallon water tank and a gray water tank to, halt, to catch it, just like my cargo trailer. I also plan to give the Jayco a lift and so that will be a, a flipped axle and maybe relocate the spring mounts. It also had eight inch tires and wheels on it and those will go away. We'll be looking at some 15 inch tires and wheels as well. And that will contribute to a lift in the height of the trailer.
And after a couple of hours of hammering and prying, I finally got all of the interior removed from the trailer. Next is removing the bed platforms and the outside skin. Thanks for watching YouTube. There's more to come in the disassembly of this Jayco.